Hi there Libra, how are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Anissa, from the Inner Serio. This is one of your love general messages. This is a general reading, so the rules might get reversed, or it may or may not resonate with you at all. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down the description box below for a personal reading with me. So Libra, and this reading is going to be a you versus them format. I'm going to be pulling card about who is it that we're going to be talking about today, your challenges, past, present, future, and we're going to clarify them. And I'm also going to be pulling some advice card for you by the end of the session, all right? Yeah, that's kind of like what I was feeling when I was pulling your card, though. Okay, I'm just pass. So I do feel that what you don't see coming here with the High Priestess, the Hierophant, and also the Queen of Pentacles, what is being laid as a mystery, what is being laid as a secret in the future is going to be laid out in the open. So you are going to have like a lot of clarity that you guys are looking for here, Libra. And I do see that if you guys are single and ready to mingle, I do feel that there's also a new relationship that is coming through for you in the future. And that could actually be in the form of like an earth sign person towards Virgo Capricorn. Okay. But... Let's get back into your reading. The persons in which we're going to be talking about today, they have the Page of Wands, they have the Ace of Pentacles, and also have the Six of Cups in upright position. I don't feel like we're going to be talking here about a new person that might come up in the present or in the future, but what this reading is going to be focused about is someone here who you've had a history with. What this person wants right now is that they would want to hear like an offer or they would want to hear something from you because they do feel that there's an amazing bond or there's an amazing soul connection that is going on between the both of you. They kind of like want you guys to be doing something or they kind of like want you guys to be offering them something or maybe like um, sharing your feelings that you guys feel the same way as they do. Your challenges here, Libra, you have the Ace of Swords in upright position and you also have the Queen of Cups. I do feel that your challenges here has a lot to do with you connecting to your intuitions to see the truth as it is truthfully. You know what I mean? I do feel that there's something here about your emotions getting in the way of your judgment or getting in the way on how you view things in general. And there's also like a little bit of a, like a subliminal messages that I'm getting here. You might be dealing with someone here who do like to send messages towards you kind of like quite implicitly, or maybe it's something that you also like to do. But anyway, in the past, this person was the five of ones and also the, uh, the full card. From your side, you have the emperor and you also have the nine of ones in reverse. I do feel that in the past, you let your guard down, okay? You let your guard down. It's either this person had hurt you before or maybe your past relationship hurt you before. You were seeing this person through the lens of skepticism, but for some reason, because of the how strongly or whatever it is that this person was doing towards you in the past, you let your guard down, okay? You, you let your guard down. You, in the past, you were in the mindset of like, no, I'm not going to be letting my guard down. I'm going to be doing stuff for me. I'm going to be very protective over my heart chakras. I'm going to be letting person who deserves to be let in and stuff like that. But you let your guard down here because they were very like with the five of ones and the emperor right next to it. It's like they're very like either they're very consistent or they just know how to break those barriers of yours. Now, in the present moment, this person is the temperance and also the devil. So I do feel that in the present moment, this person is it's a very different energy than it was in the past because in the past, it was fueled by passion. It was full, fueled by the full card about them wanting to jump off the cliff to get to you. They, they were just very like super duper sure that this is what they want. And I think that's also one of the reasons why you guys let down your guard there in the past. Now, they're much more in the energy of like, wait, wait, wait a minute. I think I went in too fast or maybe I was given up too much. Maybe it's not fair for you, I know, but that's what they're thinking, okay? Now, they're letting their either insecurities come in sight or maybe they're letting their addictions come in to their judgment. We're going to clarify what this is. Now, from your side, you have the Ten of Wands and you'll have the Page of Swords. <laughs> you couldn't believe that you let your guard down for this person, okay? You couldn't believe that because whatever it is that is happening in the now, it makes you feel overwhelmed and it also makes you feel burdened. 
in the future the death card and also the seven of pentacles from their side from your side you have the wheel of fortune and you also have the three of swords we're going to clarify what this is but i do feel that again this person is going to go through like a period of transformation there's also like a little bit of a wait period going on in here between the connections but i do feel it with the wheel of fortune here don't worry libra the universe or the divine got your back okay Whatever it is that is going to happen in the future that we're going to clarify, the universe got your back, so it's meant to be. Now, let's get into your reading and let's clarify them. I want to start off with this mm, temperance from their side. I'm not going to clarify the past because the past is in the past. Now, let's clarify the temperance. Five of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles and also the Three of Pentacles in upright position. Okay. They kind of like want you to be. This is what they want you to be here, Libra. I don't understand why they feel so disappointed though. <sighs> they are looking for shelter. Something here happening within their life that make them feel a bit depleted or make them feel disappointed or they probably are feeling that while well, like the world is against me right now, okay? And they do have expectations when it comes to you. Let's see the devil. Because they see you as someone who would want to collaborate or compromise with them. They see you as someone who is reliable and trustworthy. Let's see, let's clarify the devil here. Two of Swords, Page of Swords, and also the Two of Pentacles. But I do feel that you guys are not very welcoming of them in the present moment, okay? You're not very welcoming of them in the present moment is because you either are looking for truth or you guys are looking for clarity or there is a decision here that you guys are need to be making in regards to this person. You're still in that Two of Swords and Two of Pentacles mode though. So they can't really read you. They can't really read you. Like, actually, does this Libra want to help me? This Libra actually wants this. So they, they they don't really know. Let me clarify this Ten of Wands. The Sun card. The Knight of Wands. And also the Knight of Cups. For you, this thing is just so ancient. <laughs> this thing that the thing is that this person still calls your heart, you know? You still. The sun card is facing towards that direction. The nine of wands still face to that direction. So there is still an excitement within you. There is still love like, oh, wow. Like, but if, if things are okay between me and them, it's actually making me feel very, very happy. But wait a minute. I need to, I have other things that I need to take care of. Or I also need to be taking care of myself as well. Let's clarify that page of swords. Page of cups four pentacles and also yeah it's more about you disciplining your mind of like because there is that inkling feeling there's that inkling impulses within you that's like you know what let's let's just share our love with them you know like let's be all goody goody again let's be all lovey-dovey again let's let's talk sweet words again with them let's do that but then your mind gets in the way and you're like no i'm not gonna do that this person hurt me or the last time I did that to another person or the last time that I did that to them, you know, I got hurt pretty badly. So I'm not going to do it this time. Let me clarify the Wheel of Fortune from your side in the future. To some of you, Libra, and this may not apply to all of you, maybe just 5% of you, this Five of Pentacles might actually cause by another connection. So if they're they were just walking away from another thing, they wanted to come to you is because they see you as, you know, someone who's reliable, someone who's trustworthy, someone who would be willing to work on the connections. But to their surprise, you guys weren't that open towards them. So it hurt them. I'm not blaming you guys. I'm just a messenger here, okay? Let me clarify the Wheel of Fortune from your side in the future. Five of Wands, Hermit, and also the Empress. Good, good. It's kind of like quite similar with the Virgo reading. So most of you, so some of you might be dealing with the Virgo as well, but it's more about recognizing that you are actually an Empress, recognizing that you are the queens of all queens and the Empress rules Libra, right? Is the Venus card here. So it's more about you 
starting to see the conflict, the argument, the problem within these connections through a lens of like, this is so beneath me kind of thing in the future. Let me clarify that three of swords from your side in the future. King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and also the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I do feel that in the future, you guys are going to be walking away from this connection. Especially if you guys are dealing with the Water Sun, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I do feel that you guys are probably going to be walking away from this connection. It's because you're seeing it as it is. There is like a big, huge, radical acceptance that you guys are seeing this through the lens of like, I'm here. And whatever that we were going through, all of the conflicts, all of the lies, all of the dynamics that is hellish for me, that is so beneath me. I don't deserve this. You know, I deserve to be treated like an empress. Let's clarify the death card from their side in the future. Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and also the Magician. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Six of Cups, Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Okay. So this person is scared, shitless, to do something in regards to these connections. So again, this person wanted you to do something about it. They want you to open up because I do feel that this person either left or they detached for a little while. And now this person is coming back around. And what they're expecting is you to be magnificent, you to be six of pentacles, you to be sweet, you to be magician wanting to be working on this thing, and etc. I do feel that in the future, there's going to be a moment in time where you have had it because you're seeing this all thing as beneath you. And you guys are actually going to be calling them out for it. They're going to be coming, you're going to be calling them out for it, not a sorts. It's a very straightforward type of conversation. So you might be telling them what you think of them, or you might be telling them that you're done with this, but it's going to be like a very straightforward type of thing. Something that you've didn't want to do because you still have hopes and expectations, but I feel that you guys are going to be doing it in the future. And once you do that, this like all oh, clarity just comes. It's it's not going to be a clarity where you're going to be hearing something from someone, but it's more about the clarity that you found within yourself. You find within yourself because there is no more emotions that clouds your judgment. Sorry, guys, there was that sudden software update and it just cuts the video. But anyway, yeah, that, that's the clarity that you find within yourself here. And I think... You're going to be calling them off, calling them out, and you're going to be emotionally walking away from this person. But the thing is that this person is seeing this maybe as a bluff, or maybe this person is thinking that, well, maybe, you know what, like maybe Libra just had a rough day. I'm just going to wait. So they're keep on waiting in the future. They're going to be keep on waiting for you here. But I don't feel that that's something that you want to do, though. Hmm. Interesting. Let's pull some advice back for you here, Libra. Six of Pentacles, the King of Wands in reverse, and also the Eight of Pentacles. I think it's more about the advice. It has nothing to do with this connection, guys. I'm sorry. But it's more about you. There's this calling from the universe here that you need to start compartmentalizing stuff in your life, okay? So there is this compartment or there's this shelf of work. There's this shelf of your family. There's this shelf of your love life. There's this shelf of you and your support system. So when one thing goes awry or something goes bad with one compartment or with one shelf, it's not going to be taking a whole domino effect into the whole situation. And there is this very big emphasis here on you needing to focus on your work. There's going to be plenty of people within this week who's going to be asking for your time or maybe asking for your help. But your work here is requiring or is 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 asking for like a whole lot of attention from you and people would probably call you selfish people will probably call you oh well you're busy all the time like but no this week is all about work and you need to pay attention a lot more on your work okay 
So I think that is it for my reading for you here, Libra. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you guys have been looking for. And I hope you have a great week ahead. All right, bye-bye, guys. Have a great day. I love you.